student support. Talk about why it's important for you to be here. Um, I think the intersectionality of what's going on, the coalition of Stop Cop City and what's going on with the IDF and training people is really important. I think that people need to see that, that it's not just one problem, it's all of the problems. So as we see what's going on with the Congolese and Sudan and also with Palestinians, it's important for us to show at every single time that this four-day pause was only sanctioned because of all the efforts that you've seen across social media, because of how strong people are and determined to say, hey, we're not going to get our Starbucks today. We're actually going to say no to that. And Black Friday, we're seeing it. We're seeing it in the biggest time of their, their their market. This is the time to make money and we're hurting them. So people constantly keep saying, follow the money, follow the money, follow the money. So that's exactly what we're doing. What do you hope to gain through this? I hope we gain radicalization. I hope that they understand we need to change the masses of people and power to the people. We saw here today with like five different departments on scene, the, the retaliation against the protesting, which is our constitutional right, is something that we need to be able to stand proud and tall and say, enough is enough. We're not doing anything illegal and you guys should be able to honor that. Also heard the chance for stopping Cup City. Is that all connected to the same thing? Just, it's all one uh, intersectional. Like what happened with Tortaguilla protesting, hands up, 57 shots. No gun cyber is on their hand, but it's still classified as, you feel me? So we're not, we're not playing games. We know what's happening. The veil is lifting and the time is now. And whether people are going to stand up or stand tall, that's none of our concern. We're making sure that we show up every single time. What's next and where? Um, well, I am. I just got off a flight for 62-year-old uh, Johnny Holloman, the deacon that got murdered by the police. So I think I'm going to go head up to New York because I've been on a one-way lifestyle, showing up wherever we can. Okay. Uh, what am I missing out on asking? What did we not talk about that we need to? Uh, I don't know. I just want people to keep going. I'm tired of uh, saying another name. I'm tired of people acting like this is not serious, it's not real. We are literally constantly keep saying that, you know, it's a job. The whole system needs to get revealed. Joe Biden, we're talking to you too. It's not just easily able to say, oh, it's just one thing that's wrong. It's all of us. Our tax dollars, we're a part of the problem too. We take accountability. So please, President, take yours.